A used to stand for Apple. And it used to be possible to believe that apples were forever. Nothing seems so certain anymore. We were walking along a beach together. David pointed out the fence posts that are meant to hold up the sand hills. Every year, the Shire Council has to move the post back another couple of feet. Now A stands for Anthropocene. The ungainly word scientists have coined this century to describe the current geological era in which humans are measurably affecting the Earth and biosphere in ways that only asteroids and other galactic entities used to be capable of. We decided we needed a survival guide. A stands for atmosphere and albatross. B is for bitumen and bacteria. C is for catastrophe. The world is on fire, burning with clouds of red cardinals flapping their wings like second hands, patiently waiting for somewhere to land down and sing. P is for plasmodia. E is for elephant. For every letter, something big or small that insists somehow to be taken note of and responded to. We can feel it. We know that something incomprehensibly bad is happening in which our normal, everyday actions shopping, eating, staying warm, travelling to work, going on holiday are implicated. But what do we do with that knowledge? I could fill a book with what I don't know. R is for resist. S is for survival guide. A is for after normal. <laughs>